Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. There is a cube whose side length is 1. Four identical cubes can be placed under the cube as shown in the figure. Another nine ones can be placed under these four. And such operations can continued, so a pyramid is constructed in this process with a certain number of layers. The surface area of this pyramid is 2,352, including that of the base. Can you calculate the height of this pyramid? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Since the side length of the cube is 1, the height of the pyramid is equal to the number of its layers. The surface area of the pyramid is known, so it should be the thing that we start with. What does the surface area include? It includes the exposed area of the top surface of each layer, the area of the lateral surfaces, as well as the base area. It is important to note that the number of cubes on each side of each layer is the same as the rank of the layer. In the following, we will use the total number of layers n, to represent these areas one by one. To calculate the exposed area of the top surface of each layer, we can rotate the angle of view. By looking from the top of the pyramid, we will find that these exposed top surfaces, all together, form a square with side length n. So this part equals to square of n. And the same as the base area, which is also square of n. Now let's calculate the lateral area. Let's take one side wall as an example. There is a square on the first layer, and the area is 1 times 1, equals to 1. There are 2 in the second layer, and n in the nth layer. So it is a summation of arithmetic sequence, which is equal to half of n times n plus 1. Since there are 4 sides, so we multiply it by 4. To sort it out, it is 2 times square of n plus 2 times n. So the entire surface area is equal to 4 times square of n plus 2 times n, which is known to be 2,352. The rest becomes a pure problem of solving a quadratic equation in one variable. Let's simplify it a little bit and get 2 times square of n plus n equals 1,176. According to the quadratic formula, n is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of square of 1 minus 4 times 2 times minus 1176 over 2 by 2, and it is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 9409 over 4, which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 97 over 4. The height of the pyramid must be positive, so the answer is 24. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.